<laughs> okay, we are back. Um, one of our contributors is uh, Marion's Pizzas. And you know uh, what we're doing now, and I, uh, I, I just think it's so much fun. When Marion's is on, I go, you know what you guys are playing for tonight? And they go, what? The mayor loves Marion's. He said, how do I fix it so I get the pizza? Mm, <laughs> the mayor said that. Isn't he bringing and the I pizza? And I said, what you guys are playing for tonight is uh, Marion's Pizza. Ooh. Mm, yum. Marion's. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we try to have a lot of fun with it. Uh, so I just have a lot of questions because I'm curious, you know, how do you know how much of this to cut up? And how, you don't want a bunch of stuff to throw out the end of the day. So make welcome for the first time to show everybody Marion's Pizza Manager, John Davis. Hey, John. You know what a Tuda is? What's that? Welcome to the show. Okay. Hey, thank you, thank you. That's a Tuda. Nice to be here. How you doing? Good, how are you? Well, John, um, I called Kay and I said, you know what, I'd like to have one of your managers come on because I'm just a curious person. When I was a kid, my cousin and I used to go through the alleys off East 2nd Street, junk picking. we find clocks and radios, and we take them back to our little clubhouse and tear them apart sure. to see how it works. So I was thinking that day, I said, you know, um, my thing with Mary's is, and I told Kay this, and this is how I'm pitching guys, because it's what I believe. I had friends here from Florida not too long ago, when they come to town, they buy three pizzas, cut them in half, and then freeze them and get some dry ice and put it because they don't have Marion's in Vero Beach. Mm -hmm. And then they uh, they go to the store and get a bunch of Mike Sells potato chips because they don't have Mike Sells in Florida. Right. They do that every time they come up. They come up four times a year. Yeah. But I was thinking, I said, you know, um, every time I've been there, there's been so many people there and they're partying. So I say now, you know what the slogans for Marion should be? I'll see you at Marion's because that's where the ball teams go. That's sure. where families go. Well, so-and-so's coming in for the weekend. Let's, let's meet out at Marion's and pick sure. out the one that's yeah. convenient. But uh, other than that, I was curious. Um, when you're making pizza, first thing I want to know is the dough. You make them separate each time. Uh, I know that you have like an assembly line, which is a great thing. Uh, we think of Henry Ford for that. Sure. But... The original dough, the assembly line thing that you guys do, how do you make that? Do you make it from water? Is it already in a container? Oh, no, it? no. We make, every day, we make our dough at our North Dixie store. Okay. And we ship them out to the stores. And they make a large quantity. We'll sell, last year we sold 1.2 million pizzas. Now, that's all nine stores. Wow. But if you can imagine, uh, we get big mixers, mix up about 225 pounds of flour, water, yeast, some other ingredients in there. And um, the dough room will usually make probably between 12 to 15, 16 runs each day for the following day. So These guys are really in the dough. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> I'm sorry. I couldn't resist. <laughs> couldn't resist. Well, so those, those go out to the stores, and then each one uh, gets made individually. Well, at now, the as for one pizza, do they, they take this vat of dough, and they have this scoop that holds one pizza dough, or how do they chunk it out of there to make that first pizza. We'll have uh, one batch of dough go into a cutter and the cutter set to either small or large doughs. I got you. Okay. And then it'll cut like a little hockey puck. That'll okay. go into a roller and it rolls around makes it a dough ball. Mm -hmm. From there it goes into a proofer. Once it proofs for about 20 minutes it goes through some sheeters like big rolling pins. It'll be a dough ball and it'll be about uh, like a large dough ball is around 10 ounces. Mm -hmm. It'll flatten out uh, look like a football when it goes through the first set of sheeters. Second set of sheeters comes out exact size as pizza. There'll be a guy at the end of the desk. He'll pick it up, put it on a wax paper, slide it down to the next gentleman. Conveyor line. And it, yep. yeah, and we'll have usually four or five people working in the dome each day. Mm -hmm. We have six people total that work in there pretty full time, uh, 40 to 45 hours a week. And uh, from there, it gets shipped. You know, we got a cooler, a warehouse freezer gets shipped to each of the stores every day. And then based on what we do each day is what we'll use uh, based on past history. Mm -hmm. In other words, on a Friday, we're gonna sell a lot more dough than we would on a Monday. Mm -hmm. And so our Friday from this, year, this week will be comparable to our Friday next week, so on and so forth. And usually on a busy Friday, Saturday, most of the stores will 
do between 400 and 700 pizzas. So it's quite a bit, it's quite an operation. When I've been there in the summertime, there's always a lot of ball teams coming in. Oh yeah. And uh, that's when I got the idea. I said, you know, when you stop to think about it, you think of pizza, it's Marion's. Mm -hmm. Because it's so easy, sorry. <laughs> 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 we'll but for you. <laughs> but uh, the saying is, and, and, and you know, because I've been in advertising, I've been in the business 50 years, sure. and I've written commercials many times. The slogans are very important to me, because I judge a person, a guy who's got a business and he's selling something by the slogan. And there's some clever things out there. And I said, you know, when I think of Marion's, I say, come on, let's meet at Marion's. And that's all my friends, that's what they say. Sure. Let's meet, where are we gonna meet? What are we gonna do? Let's meet at Marion's, well, which one? But that traffic circle one I go to a lot, and the one out there in Beaver Creek. Mm -hmm. And I've never been in there when it's been slow. And John, your sandwiches are killers. I mean, they are so good. We introduced a new pretzel sandwich, uh, or deli sandwiches on a pretzel roll about six <coughs> months ago, and it's taken off like crazy. And they're delicious. We used to have them, I would say about 35 years ago. We had pretzel rolls, and we went away from that. Some people said, ah, not real popular. We got the recipe, and we went back to that original recipe on the pretz rolls, and a lot of people love them, and, and very good sandwich. I had one this afternoon, <coughs> actually. Um, on the news today, I didn't know if it was a joke or not, but a deep pan pizza, is it pizza? And from what I heard, it was a GMA, I heard this story, it went to the Supreme Court, and hmm. one of the judges, uh, name some judges, the guys on the He's real, You're real popular. At the wrong person. Oh, Clarence Thomas? <laughs> no. Um, <laughs> but anyhow, I went to the Supreme Court. Yeah. And I swear to God, his, real, his uh, reasoning is a deep pan thing is not a pizza. A pizza is a flat thing. And I thought, are they joking? They actually went to the Supreme Court over what, what is a deep pan That's a dish or a flat thing is really a pizza. Wow. And I, I just thought it was a joke. But I guess it wasn't because they kept a straight face and they did the story. And I said, well, i got to mention that to uh, John. <laughs> but the other thing I wanted to mention to you, uh, without going into specifics, um, I've heard from other people, and I've heard from you tonight, that the management loves and respects their employee, and they're very good to the employees. Oh, yes. We were actually ranked uh, one of the top places in Dayton to work last year. The Dayton Daily News did a survey. We were seventh as far as medium-sized companies. Mm -hmm. And uh, that goes to say, you know, the ownership and the management's done a real good job. We take care of our employees. Marion was very good about building the business up. Uh, Roger, Kathy, and Carol, his three kids now own mm -hmm. the company. And they've been very good about taking care of our employees, paying our managers well, and take care of people that take care of them. And that's a good thing that you can look at your bosses because a lot of people can't say that. You know, do you like your boss? <laughs> There's a bear crap in the woods? You kidding? Forget that. <laughs> but I don't hear that about from when I talk to employees at Marion's. No, That's no, amazing. our people are great, and we're right there in the trenches with them. We're doing, come in, Dixie, this afternoon, I might have been making your pizza. And Marion was just like that. He's hands-on, uh, believed in top quality products. Uh, it doesn't matter uh, if you have to charge a quarter more or 50 cents more, you put out the top quality product Hormel pepperoni, Landis meats, Loprino cheeses, and uh, never, ever take a shortcut. Marion always said, if you ever see a kid going heavy, just tell him to get the scale. But if you see him going light, you give him H-E-L-L. I came in the store on Shiloh, what's it called? Not Shiloh. Up on Dixie? No, where the office came. Oh, Shoyer Road, yeah. Shoyer. And Roger was cooking. Okay. Roger was in the kitchen. Yep. And he was working just as hard as the employees. He's, he does the same thing at anniversary time when we have the sale and we'll have a rollback price to 1965. Uh, he's right there with us, and he'll come in and he'll work his butt off. He'll be sweating and be like, Roger, you can go sit down in the dining room and relax for a little bit. No, no, I'm going to stay here right with us. And he does. He's, he's just as hard a worker as That's everybody else. That's where the respect comes in from the employees. Oh, yeah. And he knows what it takes to run the business, too. Mm. And, uh, you know, he's very grateful to what we do for him. Well, when it comes to Pete's and Dayton, hey, let's meet at Marion. <laughs> there you go. That's a good slogan. That let's sounds meet good. at Marion. Yeah. All right. Thanks for coming. Appreciate well, it's nice it. Nice to be here. up a lot of things. We're glad.